Okay, I'm just trying this out for the first time as a little bit of a test here. I get questions all the time uh, when I'm in using Blender, when I put posts up on Facebook, for instance, how do I extrude a car body for wall thickness? And I'm going to try as best I can, quickly as I can, exactly, just to use a small example how I do that. Let's take something simple like a car door, something real simple that I can show real fast here. I'm going to import an STL file out of a car I did not too long ago. It was a 68 Ford Ranchero. And I'll see if I can find the door here. So let's uh, you hit the import like I just showed here. And, and I'm no expert at Blender at all, so I don't want to get all kind of wacky questions about this and that. This is what I do. This is how I do it. That's pretty much it. Okay. I already had this divided up, and I'm going to get into that just a little bit. In fact, let's just take the whole door here. So we have a whole Ranchero door. And... What I do here is first strip the body of all its chrome, trim, emblems, all that good stuff. So what I like to do is try to get the body panels in the closest plane as possible. So if this is following the z-axis, I want this section here pretty much alone on the z-axis. This section up here... I is following more on the x-axis. I want those separate. Now I could probably extrude that as is and for time's sake here let's uh, let's do just that. Let's go to our tab key, hit everything in edit mode. Let's get rid of all the x's here. I'll turn this into quad so we hit A for highlight everything. Hit Alt J. That turns everything into quads. And what I like to do is put this on the orthographic mode here, orthographic view, hit the E key, and I want that to go straight, so I'll press down on my mouse and just drag it across and extrude that out. You can look at your corner up here, whoops, see how far you're going. I like to go about 2.8 millimeters out. Let's try that again. What we can also do a second method is to extrude is, let's back up here, let's hit Control Z, we are going to go E, let's go X, hit minus, I'm going to go 1.8 millimeters, so type in 1.8, hit your enter key, there you go. That's one way to extrude it. I personally don't like this excess hanging out over here because what can happen, if you try to say that as is, when you go put it in your slicer, you're going to have that show up as a black area because it's showing up as, as something that's not thickened. Now, I also don't care for this thin section right here. This is why what I try to do is divide off the body panel here so I have a side area and a top area. And just as an aside, whenever you extrude something, you want to highlight everything, hit your shift, your end key. You have, you have your recalculate normals. If you fail to do that, if you try to save that part as is, when you put in your slicer, it will come out black. And you have it because the faces are facing inwards, you want them to face outwards so your slicer will see it. Now, in this particular case here, we're going to back up a bit. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Once again, hit the A key. I'm going to get rid of those triangles. I hate those. Hit A, your Alt, and your J key. Get rid of that. I want to divide off this body panel as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is I need to separate the side section from this top section up here. Okay. So to make it easier for me, to make me keep from having to get, break out some Jack Daniels or uh, some vodka or whatever, we're going to go in our, night, our, our wireframe mode here and we're going to highlight as much as this bottom part as we can. Just for demonstration here. We are going to go up to where the vertices are just starting to bend over into our X-plane. So we're going to go right about here. And I have a few cats here. If you hear one of them start meowing, he thinks I'm talking to him. And, well, that's, that's what cats do. So we're just going to keep picking these out here. We're going to go along this way. Just keep going along. Pick out. Okay. Pick that out. Pick that out. Okay, I want that section here 
to capture that for it. And you know what? Let's go one more row of vertices here, and it's just to be daring here. Okay, this is the way that I separate body panels out wherever it is on the car. Blender has a solidify modifier in here. For me personally, I don't care for it because it, 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 it just makes a mess. If you want your body panels to stay intact as far as contours, creases, lines, this is the way I do it. Okay, now we got this highlighted. I want to hide that. Hit the H key, hide that. Okay, hide that. The rest of this up here, hit our A key, hit X for delete vertices. We're going to delete that for the time being. We're going to bring this back, hit Alt H. That brings everything back. I want to save that as a part, its own body part number. Now, I think I had this already saved before. We're just going to overwrite the file because the car has already been done. I did the car quite some time ago. So, go to our file. Matter of fact, let's bring it back to um, solid. Well, not solid, but let's turn it back to, it doesn't matter, but I like to have things kind of solid again. Go here to File, Export. Um, we're going to put that as an STL. Go to my uh, Ranchero here, File here. We're going to look for, I think I had that saved as a left door here. We're going to go left door side at that. Now, whenever you're overwriting a file in Blender, for those of you who don't know, if you see this red here, that's letting you know that you're going to overwrite something. Be very, very, very careful, especially if you've got the whole body done and you put the wrong, you overwrite that file, your whole body's toast. No amount of Control Z to back up. Once that file is overwritten, that's it. So please be careful what you're overwriting or what you're exporting that you don't overwrite the wrong thing because you can lose an entire part. I've had it happen. For some reason, Blender, once you overwrite something, it's like set. That's the kind of way it thinks. You have to be just look at your file name and make sure what you're overwriting or what you're putting in is exactly what you want. So we're going to export that out. Okay. Now, we're going to hit our Control z key. We're going to back up to where it was, where we had everything before. Now, I want the lower part that I pre previously... Uh, Highlight it. We want these parts joined back up again. And what we're going to do, we're going to have to unhighlight the very outside vertices on this section here. And the reason why is if you fail to do that, if you try to bring these parts back together, you're going to have a row or a section of missing faces. So what you're doing is you are <coughs> you're basically replacing what was already. Uh, deleted. So we went across that whole perimeter there, the very outside vertices from, from uh, leading edge to trailing edge. Now we're going to hit our X key, hit vertices, delete that out. This section here will be our upper part of the door. It's going to be, I think I read to call that the top. So we can just go back here to tab mode for a minute. We're going to export that section out. And we are going to, well, you know, let me back up just a little bit. Once you delete a set of vertices like that, it'd be a very, very good idea, let's back up a section here, to recall the part that you previously exported to make sure you don't have any missing faces. So let's go here to File. Let's import that part we just sent out, the lower part of the door. Go to STL. We are going to go down here to where our left door, and, it's, and I, I saved that just mere minutes ago, so it says today, so I know that's the part I'm going to import back in. Ta-da! We got a nice joint part here so far. So I know when I go back to bring this to extrude, I'm not going to have a row of missing faces or all kind of other weird things going on, so let's, uh, let's get rid of that. We can save this part here now. doesn't matter if it's in edit mode or, or object mode. Go here to File. Export. We're going to call this, I already had to save from earlier, so we're going to call this the left door top. That's that right there. Once again, watch your file name. Make sure that that is what you want to export. You don't overwrite anything like the whole body down here or something like that. Make sure that that's what that is. Export STL. Now, I can bet you, 
I can go and let's uh, let's just wipe this out. Let's go back to object mode. Hit X, delete. Let's go here to um, let's bring both those parts. But you know what? Let's bring. Uh, and this it's going to be a little longer than I'd like, but let's bring that everything back in again. Not everything, but um, let's bring that door side back in. Just for a second here. Uh, left door side. We got that. We're here in, in edit mode or object mode. We want to go to edit mode. Once again, I like to get rid of the giant triangles and turn everything back to quads. Hit our Alt-J key. And let's flip it around. Let's go this side. Okay, once again, hit your E key. Notice how there our plane is straighter now since we got rid of that upper edge or that angle. So once again, I'm going to go straight along the x-axis. Hit our x, hit minus because we want to go inwards, minus 1.8 for wall thickness. Here you go. Okay. Now, hit our A key, shift N, recalculate normal so your part doesn't turn black. At least I use Chitto box. If, it, if their faces are faced the wrong way, it'll come out black in the slicer. That tells me I got a problem. Now we want to do our next part. In fact, we could. Now we want. We don't want to hide that for a minute. Let's uh, let's just keep that open there. Let's bring our top of the door back. We're going to import the left door top. We know that's this part here because we just literally exported it just a few minutes ago. A couple minutes ago. Okay, we got that. We want to now, just for, eh, let's keep that open. We're going to put that in edit mode. Let's get rid of the everything back to quads again. Hit Alt-J. Turns everything back to quads. And once again, in orthographic mode, looking at it on the uh, y-axis here, we're going to take this and hit the extrude key. And we want to kind of bring this downwards this way. Now, that's an odd overlap for me. So what I'll do once I finish overlapping or stretching it down, hit the G key. And let's just kind of shove things over a little bit. Let's flip it around this way. And let's go to the other side here. Let's look this way. Yeah, I can kind of go back. So that trailing edge is kind of meeting that back here. And this is where you have to use a little bit of creative... Uh, creative license or a little bit of artistry or know something about the car you're going to have to use your tools here if I want these to scale out a little further say I want this trailing edge of the upper part of this door or the leading edge rather to meet more with the lower uh, lower sides uh, uh, leading edge well, we can kind of hit our S key and kind of stretch things out just a wee little bit just a little bit might have to take our G key Move things over a bit. Oops. I did that kind of well, I backed up here, but you get the idea. You want to kind of tidy things up here so that edge is meeting that. Or take this this corner here and move that back. But in a nutshell, that's how you extrude body panels. This is how I do it. The thickness option, I tried that every which way from Sunday. It made a mess. Right now, that's our basic thickened door. And you're going to have to go back and uh, uh, tidy up areas like you might want to, let's say, for instance, I want to draw those corners in. I, keep, I pick out this lower side that's still here. Hit the tab key. And you can kind of take these vertices and pull those back in a little bit, kind of tuck those in, whatever way you see fit. You delete them, reshape them, whatever you want to do. Oops. Kind of help I hit the enter key to get back to where we were. There we go. Okay, um, that's it in a nutshell. Hope this helps. I, I do this all the time. I get you know people on Facebook, how do you extrude the body? This is how I do it. It is tedious, it takes a lot of time, but this is the best way I found out to keep the body shapes intact if you are trying to thicken car bodies in it for, for an STL from object file to an STL file. So in this particular instance here, that was already established as an STL. I divide the bodies up in object mode, convert them, import them out, or export them out into STL mode. And the .STL mode is when I do all my thickening up. So I hope this helps. 
Any questions, I'll try to answer as best I can. If I can't, well, guess I can't. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and take care.